Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our video series where I'm gonna be decorating this back porch for fall. In the first video, I planted up all the containers I'm gonna be using. I just showed you the process. We talked about the plants. In fact, I have them sitting all right over here. I think I've got everything gathered that I'm gonna be using. I've got bundles of corn stalks. I've got pumpkins and gourds that I gathered from my own garden, which is so exciting. And then of course, all of the beautiful flowers. And I just hope that this video inspires you just seeing this kind of plain area come together and look alive for fall. I also want to hold a fall decorating contest. So it's gonna be super easy. All you have to do is submit a picture of what you've decorated for fall by October 15th to contest at gardenanswer.com. There aren't any really strict guidelines or rules, except I do wanna keep it a little bit more away from Halloween and scary stuff, even though I do like Halloween decorations, but I want this to be a little bit more fall harvest themed. And Proven Winners is gonna be giving away a $100 gift card to the winner. So how it's gonna work, when you submit that photo, we're gonna put them all up in one post on our Facebook page. You can vote on which ones you like the best. The picture with the most amount of votes will win. It's super easy, you guys. And don't worry about how big or small you decorate, just do you. I think that's what this is about. I just want it to be about community and fun. It's really awesome to look at other people's pictures of how they've decorated, big or small, no matter what the area is, front door, back door, patio deck. It's just fun and inspiring to watch what other people are doing. So we're gonna set up a camera and show you this whole area come together. If there's anything I need to stop and give a little more detail on, we'll do that. And then in the end, I'll give a tour of the whole spot altogether. absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. Now I realize this is a little bit over the top, but you guys should be used to that for me. I tend to get a little bit carried away when I get into projects like this. I just had so much fun. And the fact that I grew all this stuff, I just, I don't know, it does something for me. Um, so these are Cinderella pumpkins. All of the kind of lower flat ones that are, you see here are all Cinderella. Acorn squash, pie pumpkins, We've got blue hubbard squash, uh, crookneck squash. This is actually like a summer squash, I think. And then we've got little baby boo pumpkins, which I think are so cute. These are like Benjamin size pumpkins. So as far as the plants go, I talked about them in the first video a lot, but some of the ones that stick out the most to me, well, the lemon coral looks beautiful. And I think it's one of those plants that's really versatile because it is a zone seven. So it can take quite a bit of cold and then it can come in as a house plant later. I also like, of course, the mum. The bronze color of the mum is just so typical fall, and I love that, especially when you contrast it with the Silver Falls Dichondra. I think that's a beautiful look. Um, the Apache Rose Panicum, anything that has seed heads like this just looks kind of like end of summer fall to me. Now, a couple of the things that you may not have been able to see very well in the video are right around this side here. I tucked a Arborvita, this is called Fluffy. I'm gonna be planting this out in my landscape and so I actually didn't even plant it. I just wrapped some burlap around its can so you couldn't see it and put it in this really pretty uh, pot. This is like a metal pot that has oak leaves with acorns and then this Carex right here. And the reason why I kind of bounce these around is because we walk this way and I wanted it to look like it wasn't just a flat display this way. I wanted there to be some interest that kind of drew your eye back. And then of course the corn bundles. So I actually got these for free as well. So if you have a friend or if you grow corn yourself, you'll have the corn bundles of course. But I have a friend that um, always loves it when we cut his corn bundles because it actually helps him out. It's less work. He doesn't have to haul anything away. He lives in town. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for him. 
I grew my own corn, but it's just starting to bear because I planted it so late, so it's not quite ready yet to decorate with. And you can cut corn at any point after it's done bearing. Uh, even when it's still kind of green, it'll just dry like this right where you put it. So I just screwed a little eye screw, I think that's what they're called, into the side of the house. Um, and then used some jute twine to just tie them up really well. So like it's not gonna go anywhere. It won't be shifting or anything unless we get a really bad breeze, which hopefully we don't. And then the wreath up here, I've actually had for several, several years. I use it every single year somewhere in our house. And I think it's kind of the perfect fall colors. It is faux. I am planning on making a, a few real fall wreaths this year, um, but I just don't have all of my supplies gathered yet. And I realize it is a little bit early, but I wanted to make sure to get this out there to inspire you guys and talk to you about the decorating contest. So let me go over a few more of the things here about that. So between now and October 15th, you can submit a picture anytime of what you've decorated for fall. And like I said, it doesn't have to be like this. It can be big, it can be small, anything in between. It can even take on a different uh, theme, you know, kind of feel than this. You could go all white. I don't, there's so many different ways to take it. And that's why I'm so excited to see all of your pictures. And again, the email address is contest at gardenanswer.com. And please just submit one photo each. And if you want to include a little description, that would be great. Like kind of explaining your process, some of the plants that you used, maybe some of the props that you've used for years and years and years, or something that was handed down to you. I don't know. The stories are always really interesting to me. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Look forward to seeing your pictures and we will see you in the next one.